Okie dokie, um, this video is going to be about fire farming, and I've already hit quite a few deads. Um, my state has a rule where you can um, uh, just go around hitting deads without really much repercussion from uh, getting uh, hit by anyone, and so I'm, I'm really close to our alliance right now. Um, this is our alliance, that little open spot is actually where I'm usually at, I've just been bouncing around. Um, but I'm currently hitting a lot of deads, and if you can see my uh, resources on the left side, I started with maybe like 10,000 of each, no food, but you can see I've already gotten quite a bit of resources, and this is why it's called fire farming, okay? and. Um, I just attack them once or twice, especially if I um, got a lot of resources from them. And this is how it's really super easy to get a lot of resources in a short amount of time. So uh, I have the um, preset that uh, for attacking and it's for all because I'm not scouting any of these. Um, they're dead towns, so there's really no point to scout any of them. And whenever I quick select, it's just easy to hit a lot of deads all at once. Now I have six marches out and I'm just sending a lot of troops to each of those. And some of these marches have very little troops in them. Like the last one that I just sent, if you click over here, um, this one that's marching, I barely sent um, 8,000 of the, uh, infantry, um, 22, 23,000 of, um, range and about 23,000 of, um, uh, cavalry. So, I mean, all of these have different ones. And so you just want to, want to see what they have. And basically fire farming is super easy. You don't have to really think about it. If you want to spend the silver to scout each and every one of them, feel free to do that and granted when you click on a dead town and you look at the force that doesn't always tell you exactly what kind of resources are going to be in there so for instance let's actually scout this one because it says food farm in it let's just scout it i mean the name of this is food farm um it is a dead town i'm not and it's it's part of an alliance so I'm kind of concerned that uh, someone let it go, so I don't know if I'm going to actually hit it. Uh, it doesn't have very many resources, so I'm not going to really hit it. So if if there's actually um, an alliance in front of the name, you want to be careful when you're hitting these, but if they're not shielded, most likely they are dead towns. But I'm going to go ahead and move over here after... Um, my marches come back, but I haven't been watching how much I'm getting from each town to see if I can hit them again, because, I mean, even though some of these have already been hit by someone else, um, this is why it's called fire farming, because you're literally setting things on fire! Alright, it just, it's kind of fun to hit. Um, to be honest, I wish someone would hit me so I can get, um get some kill force because I don't have much kill force anyways so as soon as I get these back and a fun part about doing fire farming too is just going randomly and uh, going to a place in the middle of nowhere uh, say you click on the map up at the top and um, I'm right close to our government building so say if I wanted to go a little bit outside of our government building, now that's an alliance. I don't want to fire farm in an alliance, um, but there are some bigger, bigger town centers here. So say I move right here and I'm just going to start uh, hitting these. And granted, I'm not scouting any of them. I'm just going to use presets. And remember, I have six marches and they're not on fire. And so they will definitely have a lot more resources, okay? Uh, this one's a 16, but I'm going to go ahead and hit it anyways. 
and this doesn't really take a lot of thought, okay? Um, that one up there is 19. Now, I have six marches, and I don't have anything gathering right now. And so I I could send another one. Look, I, I got quite a few million in that one attack. Um, let's see. This one's a 24. And, you know, the kill force doesn't, or the attack, the force itself doesn't really represent how much you will get in resources. All right, so I'm going to this and watch I can add my sheriff in there attack so that's about a two three minute march all right so I still have another march left mm, I'm gonna go over to this one over here so fire farming is super super easy not really much to think about um, a 13, a 10, 11. Um, okay, there's a 20 over there. Uh, but the further away it is from your town, the more that it will. Oh, look, and another dead. And they even named it Dead City Triple Six. That's lucky. That's a lucky one. All right, and this video is taking place the day before SVS is going to start, so that's why you're seeing that animation of the uh, basically the fire going across. So that's telling you how much you're gonna get. Now, I mean, I have a lot of food that I'm getting, which is awesome, uh, because I do need food to do uh, some other upgrades and stuff when I build, but I'm gonna dump that into my farm whenever I get a chance, um, or my bank, I should say. But my bank is in another alliance, so I have to um, bring it into my alliance or I go into their alliance, so it just really depends on what I want to do. Uh, so, as you can see, I started with no food. I also uh, started with about 9 million of wood. I think I had like 15 million of uh, rocks, um, and I think maybe 7 million in iron. Maybe about 50 million, maybe 45 million in silver. And so you can already see in just a short period of time, I gathered quite a bit. Let's go to the growth resources. I haven't gotten any corn uh, or the troops have already eaten all the corn, uh, but I, I had quite a bit in that one too. So I am just waiting for uh, my marches to come back. I might as well, while I'm waiting, just go ahead and set out an attack on these two because it's just easier easier to just send them out i mean hitting deads is another term that when i first started this game is what it was called uh but someone on youtube actually taught me that what the term fire farming is and i can't find the comment i give you a shout out um but <laughs> thank you for teaching me that term um but terminology kind of comes out as you play a game and so fire farming is definitely um, a fun fun thing to do so if you're not taking advantage of this then please take advantage of it because look how much I have gotten in resources in just a short video um, when I started I had already been fire farming for maybe a minute or two and so you never know now I'm gonna attack these that I haven't attacked yet in their town center 15s but we're gonna go ahead and send send some attacks because I'd be very interested to see how much they have in resources. Now I don't have any there so I'm just going to send a bunch of uh, these. Now the pop downs that comes down it shows you how much you get in each of those combat reports. So when you look at this one, the one that just now attacked and you can see the pop down, I got quite a bit of resources from that person. Uh, this one, not so much. Uh, that one, not so much. That one, not so much. So let's go back up to this one. And uh, I'm going to click on it again. And, I mean, that one's just 15, but I got quite a few million uh, resources. So 
I'm going to go back. Even though I didn't scout it, I'm going to attack it again. And we're going to see exactly if I can get more or not. Okie dokie. Now, a lot of these I'm not getting very much um, more. All right? So, I actually got quite a bit of resources from that one. So, I might move over and attack it again. So, do you see how I got 4,000 or 4 million in food? Quite a few mil million in the others. So, let's go back to the combat reports. And um, Dead City, I got quite a few million. Um, fat back, I got another couple million when I hit it a second time. And, um, fat back again, again. Now, if you really do want to scout, you can. Now I need to click on these combat reports. I can go down here and select and select all, and that way I can just open them all, but I actually like to look at the combat reports just to see. Uh, what's in them. So I'm going to go ahead and scout this one because I want to see how much more they have in resources because I'm literally doing this for resources. That is what fire farming is, is to get resources. Okay, so the scout report says, so they have a little less than a million of each. I could hit it again and get all that, but I, I mean, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just deplete it. I mean, might as well, you know? So, you... It can be deceptive. A smaller town center does not always mean that it's going to be less resources. They could have made their resources, all of them, up to 15, and it's still generating resources. Even though these dead towns are no longer active in the game, because the people that originally owned them increased the particular resources that they built in those towns to a certain level, they're going to continually be churning and growing. So when you fire farm, it basically gets them to zero and you can continue farming. Unfortunately, because of the battle fever, this will um, relocate the town at a certain time. So you can't just bookmark these towns and always hit those towns and make sure you wait like two or three days before you hit them again because keep you on your toes and so in that sense it does keep you on your toes all right so i tend to not uh hit towns that have um that are part of an alliance unless the alliance is just truly dead i don't know All right, and so you can bounce all over the map if you want. So I can bounce over here and I can uh, start hitting these, but the further away you get from the main government building, the um, smaller the town centers are gonna be, just so you know. Okie dokie. All right, so it'll be back in seven seconds and I'm just gonna move right next to this dead city and uh, see if I can get more resources, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to hit it once and see how much I get. But, I mean, look at that. In just a short period of time, I got a ton of food. A ton of food. Look at that. I got just a little bit. So how about we attack this one with all of my mercenary troops okay let's take that one down a little bit and send one of each I mean artillery is not going to do anything for you just so you know don't even bother sending artillery to these dead towns I mean everyone should know that by now artillery is really not very good for much. All right, so these combat reports, the last two, um, I didn't get very much in the new resources, um, but I did get a little bit for the other ones, okay? So let's bounce around and just do one more 
well, let's go over here and see if there are any bigger deads over here. They're really, I mean, there's some right here. So let's move there and let's just attack this one. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna quick select or use one of my presets and then attack. And this one is 19, that one is a town center 20. So we'll see, that one's a 19. I mean, you can hit ones that are already burning. Uh, if you really wanna just scalp them, you can. It's funny how people name them with farm in it because that clearly means that it's probably going to have more resources because they concentra are concentrated on making a farm. Oh, look at that. That one had quite a few million in it. All right, so Abuse had several million of those and Andrea had several million of those, so... That is fire farming, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me just hit some dids and fire farming. So if you have any questions um, or comments, let me know in the comment section below or find me on the game or even on the line app and, and I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Hope you all are having a great day. It's Friday, so... Uh, your weekends are hopefully going good, and I will talk to you later. All right, bye, guys.